I got something really hard to tell you, and I don't know how to start. Well, I am your wife, Dan. I think you can Roseanne, tell me. Roseanne, something really, really awful has happened. I've met someone. Someone? I met a woman. Okay, so by met, you don't mean just met, or it wouldn't have taken you so long to tell me. It's more than just met. How much more? I met her at the hospital. Oh, yeah? So, so there's a chance she'll be dead soon? <laughs> She's my mother's nurse. What? I didn't sleep with her. Roseanne, you got to believe this. I did not go looking for this. I didn't plan on this. If I had a choice, this well, wouldn't have happened. If, if you had a choice, you didn't really just say that to me, I'm did sorry, you? I'm sorry. It's just... Look, after I had my heart attack, I got, I got spooked. I started facing my own mortality. Oh, I get it. She's younger. Oh, Roseanne. No, I'm right, aren't I? How much younger than me is she? Oh, come on, Roseanne. What do you want me to say? So what does she do for you, Dan? She hangs on your every word, what, she rubs the knots out of the back of your neck. Does your mother know what you were doing out there? No. I don't know what I was doing out there. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> well, are you in love with her? I'm very confused. I know that I still love you. Oh, my God. Who wrote that line? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, this never would have happened if we hadn't won that money, would it? So what now, Dan? We're part of the privileged class, and I get to give you the typical uh, response of the numb society wife. Like I'm supposed to look the other way when they catch you in a hotel with some call girl? Well, I don't have that blindness that only money can buy, Dan. I'm not Rose Kennedy. I'm working class. And that means there's right and there's wrong. There's black and there's white. And no amount of money is going to get me to see gray. I know that. And I know that I have a duty to this family and I intend to see it through. So that's what we are to you after all these years, Dan, your duty, right? Well, isn't that just great for you? Then you get to be the hero and the martyr. Well, don't bother, Dan, because while you were gone, I learned something, too. I'm going to be fine. It's killing me, Roseanne. you got to understand this is tearing me apart. After all these years, this is truly, truly the very last thing I would have ever expected out of you, Dan. Your duty is over. You're free. <laughs>